So we are still trying to update a country. So for now, when we click on the button uh, to update, for instance, if we click on edit button, nothing, uh, it doesn't fill up these items here. So let me show you how to do it. If you are joining for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. Now we have the edit model and the add model. The first thing you need to know is that if you are updating, then you need to pass the ID across. So I'm going to put uh, the ID across. Uh, I'm going to add the ID at this point, but I'm not going to allow them to edit it. We are not going to make it editable. So to do that, to prevent it from being edited, you are going to simply, let's, of course, let's call it ID. Uh, and also call it ID edits. Let's call it ID edits. Okay, uh, everything. You can remove all these ones. This four is referring to the ID, to the ID of the of the item. So you can actually change them up. And you need to make it a read only. Read only. Don't make it disabled. If you make it disabled, then it's not going to work. Then in case of this form, change it to to updates. So here you. Instead of add new, change it to updates. Okay, and um, okay. So I've I've given IDs to the to the to the uh, text boxes ID edit ID description edit capital edit and so on. All right. So basically, we want to now when a user clicks on the edit button, we want to get the ID of the clicked uh, button, right? So for instance, if you look at the lower left corner, you can see the uh, the particular link that we actually want to make uh, a call to. So the first time when we click on edit, it assigns the URL. And now I want to make a call to that particular URL to, rec to get this particular ID and then display it on the text box. Since JavaScript handles displaying a model pop-up, we are going to also make this request by JavaScript, get this item and display it on a model pop-up, on the model form. B before I do that, uh, let's see, this form actually here, the method is going to be put, all right? That's gonna be put. And now let's go to the JavaScript file. So basically, we want the URL to be slash countries, slash uh, um, find by ID, and slash question mark ID equal to one. So this is where we are trying to make a request to a request to now. And we are going to write a method by JavaScript to make this request. So the first thing we need to know to, to get at this point is this very URL. To get this URL, we simply get it from the, the href attribute of the clicked button. So we need to get the the, the attribute of this clicked button the link, the href of this click button. To do that, I'm going to simply assign it to a variable called href is equal to um, is equal to the, this button can be referred to as this. The current button that is clicked is called this the attributes attribute attr and the attribute we want is href. Okay. All right, so this is a URL now. This URL is equivalent to this one. It's a dynamic URL that keeps changing depending on the button you click. And now to make a request, I'm going to say $.get. So I'm making a request now by JavaScript. Whatever comes out, comes back. And uh, I'm going to use it to populate the, the text boxes. So the URL, $.get request requires a URL. So the URL is href, plus we've gotten it. And we need a callback function that is going to execute uh, when this request is made. So I, this is a callback function. Sorry, let me just get this right. Put the semicolon here and drop down. And this function, you need to specify the variable that is going to hold the, the record, the particular record that is returned. So let me put it in country. And we need the status of the request. All right, so at this point, the country will be the data that is returned. The particular record will be stored in country. So at this point, I can simply say uh, as, assign it to the to to the to the. Um, I can now assign it to the to the variables. I can now assign it to the test boxes. So I can say let me select the test box. I'm going to say uh, dollar sign. I'm selecting for now. Let me start with. ID edits, okay, dot value, 
.val, the val is going to be country .id. Okay, so that's how to assign. So the second one, I'm going to say dollar uh, hash uh, description edits dot val. I'm going to say country dot description, and I'm going to continue in that way until I complete it. So I can now actually copy and paste and then modify. Alright, so we are done with this. So at this point, when we get the country from this get request, makes a request to this, the particular uh, button that was clicked, it gets the country, the particular record, and assigns it to the button, to the text boxes having these IDs right here. That is what is going to happen, and I'm going to refresh the, I'm going to run this application, and then I'm going to refresh the, the I'm going to make the request again, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to kind of go back to this place. For now we've not written the update method. So let's let me just change it to anyway we are not going to submit it for now. So let's just let me just rerun it at this point. Run. All right, so let's go to try it at this point and let's see how it goes. So I'm going to refresh this page, refresh. And we hope that when we click an item, it's going to populate the edits uh, so it doesn't. So my colon here. Uh, okay, so. All right, so let's try to see. I'm going to click edit and nothing happens. So we're going to be dollar this, dollar this, okay, close this. I'm going to refresh the page and hopefully at this point it's going to display the items uh, click. So we have one displayed here. So let's go to check where the problem is coming from. We have on the country, we have ID edit, description edits, capital edits, have ID edit. Um, 
C. Okay, so I have capital at D, capital, okay, let's just try the second one. Let's see a uh, description at this. Okay, so we have an error here. So we just put the bracket here. Put the bracket here. Put the bracket here. And the same goes here. The same goes here. And save it and then run it again. All right, so let me refresh the page. I'm refreshing the page and I'm going to click Edit and it goes to this place. Okay, so that is not what is expected. Let's go back to our JavaScript. Um, uh, dollar gates. Uh, href is equal to. Right, so I have to do a lot of debugging just to solve this problem. So at this point, I'm sure it's going to work. So let me run it again. So this is a complete JavaScript. This is exactly what you should have. So while it's running, I'm going to simply go to country and say, take note of the country action is slash countries and the method is puts, okay? So I'm gonna refresh this page at this point. If I refresh and I'm gonna click edit and you can see everything loads up correctly. If I click on edit again, everything loads up correctly. So at this point, let's just go to write the in the controller. Let's write the function to accept uh, updates, all right? So that when we submit, it's going to update. So since I have very little time, I'm going to uh, rush through it at this point. I'm going to just rush through it. Uh, I'm going to write it real quick. So the method uh, basically is the same as the add new, uh, but we simply change the name to update. So I'm going to just paste it here and change it here to update. So we are having request method dot 
puts and request method dot uh, get because to update you need to fetch the, to do a get to get the item or the country update it and then uh, uh, put it back so you get and you save all right so at this point when we submit we should be able to have an a, an updated record so I'm going to run this application at this point. So the same method in the service, now we are writing only in the controller, the same save method in the service is the same method that you use for save, for, both for add and also for updates. That is in the service, not in the controller. So at this point, we are going to go back to the application. I'm going to refresh this page at this point. And if I'm selecting United States, let's take, for instance, I'm changing the code to, sorry, let me change the code to 99999 just to make sure it works. And I'm going to submit. So at this point, you can see the code have changed to 9999. And Budapest, let's change the name of the, the uh, description of the country to Hungary because Hungary has a capital Budapest. So I'm going to change it to Hungary and submit. And it changed to Hungary at this point. So we have succeeded in completing the update method. Uh, that is step 15. We are now going to be talking about delete in the next part. I would like to remind you to subscribe. If you have any challenges, uh, feel free to let me know. Just tell me and I'm going to help you solve this problem immediately.